Hi folks, welcome back. A quick discussion here on the outside foil or shield of a capacitor. It's interesting, I was watching uh, Larry's video and uh, he and I corresponded with each other how difficult it is to uh, measure sometimes the outside or identify the outside shield of uh, certain capacitors. One trick you can do is uh, add some foil to the outside. Again, this is a, a poly type capacitor and you can see I've just got a, a strip of uh, copper foil here with some adhesive on one side. Wrap it around it here and I'll demo that with the oscilloscope so you guys can uh, see the difference here just looking at the uh, signal strength. My input signal here coming from my uh, audio signal generator around uh, 8 volts or so RMS. And what you'll notice on the scope here, you'll see the uh, signal here. And I've got it broke down so you can look at RMS or uh, voltage peak to peak. I'm going to switch the leads around here on the signal generator itself. And you can look at the uh, change here. So you can see there's very little difference here in the amplitude of the signal and this is one of those low value capacitors. So what I thought I would do as an exercise is test a batch of capacitors anywhere from three to five for some of the values I had on hand and uh, kind of chart those out and uh, show you guys the difference between uh, outside foil and the opposite uh, polarity and what impact uh, that may have for uh, you know possibly picking up hum or other type of uh, noise inside the uh, receiver itself. After collecting the data here you can see I just threw it in a simple Excel spreadsheet and uh, you can see in most cases here I had uh, five capacitors of each value with the exception of a few which only had three and uh, certain capacitors I'm uh, out of stock right now so the test is somewhat limited here I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see some of the uh, test data for each uh, capacitor again what I was doing was just looking at the uh, signal strength on the oscilloscope at that outside uh, foil in reversing the uh, leads of the uh, signal generator just to understand which uh, location creates the uh, highest amount of signal on the shield which would tie back to the outside uh, foil location. As you can see here in the chart the lower value capacitors are, uh, which are hard to discern when measuring have uh, very little impact or very little difference really uh, looking at uh, the voltages converted to decibels uh, below 0 0.01 microfarad and you can see as the capacitor values increase uh, it definitely uh, provides an opportunity to ensure that the outside foil is correct because you can see some of those numbers uh, really jump up as the uh, capacitor values increase. Thus, if you're a purist out there and uh, that's important to you, I thought I would share this information. Let's take a look at some uh, vintage capacitors that I tested as well. Looking at some vintage paper and wax caps here, you can see that they have similar uh, results. However, even the lower values there, you can see the uh, amount of uh, decibel rejection not near as much. I think a lot of it was just the difference in, uh, you know, construction techniques used uh, back in the day as compared to uh, today. In addition, the uh, form factor or the uh, volume itself of the capacitors are much smaller, which uh, kind of lends itself to uh, a reduction in uh, possibly uh, noise mitigation. Hope you guys uh, found this interesting. 
everyone out there, uh, take care. Be safe.